Welcome back to Fruling, everybody. It is still March. We're going to, I guess we got this filled. We'll go right here then. We're going to get back down to field two. We're going to get it slurried. It's in desperate need of being slurried. We just planted oats on our last episode. And then I think what we're going to do after that is buy our new Holland Harvester that we were talking about getting. I'm going to sell our old class and get a little bit of money for that. And then we're going to buy field 10 and we can harvest that sorghum. Which I did have sorghum come up for sale in January. I ended up not selling that. I think we might be using that for horses or... We can also use it for chickens because we are getting low on our barley. And uh, we can't harvest now like we were before with seasons off. So we're going to kind of got to um, plan a little bit more, if you will. Which I'm probably going to end up planting a lot more barley or whatnot that we're going to need for. I also wanted to try to get more to our uh, production so we can make some flour for our donuts again. Okay, let me bring up the map here so we can see where we are in the corner. And we'll get this slurried here. So we are at orange. Let me, uh, ch let's check this once real quick. So it says, okay, we, we're supposed to have 100 kilograms and we're at 45. I'm going to do another, um, another spreading, if you will. We're going to use the uh, hard manure. And we'll do that after... Well, I suppose it'll be the next month in April. Yeah, I decided to just run back up to the farm and grab another load rather than bring the other tank down. If it was a bigger field, I definitely would have brought the uh, transport tank down with some slurry. But since it was just one, I figured, eh, it's not really worth it. Okay, we'll get this back up to the farm. And then we can go shopping. Actually, we got to get that cloth cleaned up so we can get it sold too. Or I guess fit, uh, we got to get it fixed up. We can do that down at the at the sale place. We'll be we'll be set with that. I wonder how much it's worth anyway. So it might not cost us a whole lot on our our budget, but I guess we'll find out. That's what the weather warming up here too. We can go ahead and put some lighter clothes on. We're kind of in desperate need of a wardrobe change here. We don't need a stocking hat anymore. Take those gloves off. That'll work. Okay, so yeah, we only had five and a half hours on this thing. We're gonna need the header too. We'll have to get that sold, I suppose. Because we're gonna be going from a. What is it, a four? Yeah, 5.1, 
And then we're going to go with the new Holland one here to 7.5. That'll be very nice. We're definitely going to need the trailer. I don't know where we're going to park it. It might have to be in the the other shed up here or that that other shed in the back. But i got to keep in mind it's a four-wheel wagon. It's probably going to be... Well, actually, I don't know if it's a four-wheel wagon for sure. Maybe it still is a two-wheel wagon. All right, let's see what we can get for the class here. I mean, it's been good to us. It was our first upgrade, which was... A nice upgrade from the Vistula we originally started with. Let's see, we'll get it repaired. And then we'll also repaint it for 14000 but that should pay for itself. So we're going to get $48,000 out of this. 37 months we had it. Alright, it's gone. I'm going to go grab the header. I want to get the vulture here, I think, for that. So let's get this Deutz back in the yard. Winter's over. We can leave him outside now. Seems to be its designated spot over here for the parking. It's time to get the vulture out again. It says quite a few hours on it too. We did buy it used. Speaking of used, we should probably check the used equipment real quick. Just in case. Well, actually, the header might actually fit under this thing. I was thinking this is going to be too short, but we can try it. We have to see what we're going to get for a trailer too. Yeah, so the sails... Yeah, this is very tempting. How many hours? 6.6 .6 hours. That's very tempting. We're gonna get the class, or excuse me, our new Holland bought first. Alright, now we get to see what we get for the header trailer. I think that was... I remember this looked in rougher shape before. And somehow it keeps getting repainted, it looks like, when I come in. I don't know if it's an error. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll repair it, and then we'll repaint it, so we're going to get almost six grand for it. And then the trailer, we're going to have to get a different trailer for the other header. Almost $600 for that. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and... Do some shopping. Ooh. Okay, so I want to make sure we, we're going to start with a header and then get the combo so I know the, the right one I'm getting. So I want this header, 7.5 um, combination. So yeah, here's our new Holland and then the trailer. Let's go ahead and buy the header first. I don't think I want to go much bigger than this header on this playthrough. That's pretty big. But we, we got to remember it's a small map, so we got to kind of be reasonable here. That's why I decided not to go too much bigger than this. So let's go ahead and buy that for 42500 And then we'll do our combo. Let's get the header trailer for it. It's like a regular kind of generic trailer. It is, um, it, well, it's a tandem, so it's not a four wheel. So we can actually easily back this in. We can try to get it into our overhang. Let's see, spare wheel. I'm going to put that on just because I like it. This is going to be for uh, New Holland. So let's make it yellow, I think. I don't know if I want the whole thing yellow. Should we change the extension to like a... There we go, that looks cool. And then the rims. Let's do... Yeah, let's do black rims. Okay, 6000 for that. And then we got our... Combine here looks like all we can really do is a uh, change the wheels Standard or wide I think we'll go with the Michelin standard all right 265,000 That is a bit of a hit in the pocketbook, so we're down to 
423,000, and if I did buy that, that other tractor, it's 187. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. Let's get the header trailer pulled out so we can get the head on it. We still gotta buy field 10. Because now we really can't uh, get through spots. We we kind of could with our class trailer, but or our class header on the combine. We could kind of sneak through places, but it's going to be a little difficult with this wider header here. All right, let's check this thing out. Looks pretty basic. Let's start it up. I think we definitely made a good choice here, though. Again, this will be our last combine on this playthrough. Still thinking about trying to get a corn header yet, too. I probably will think about buying one of those. We're going to have to get another header trailer for that, too, of course. Look at that. It's pretty wide, but I would say it's we're still reasonable, I think, for this playthrough. I don't want to overdo it. Let's give this a shot and see how good this will snap on here, huh? like so is there no snappage on this one doesn't look like it okay let's uh make our way down to field 10 and we'll get to get it purchased it's gonna be nice to have a different field it's all a part of exploring this map before we finally call it quits on it Looks like all the lights are working very good. Now we got a nice uh, turn here. Maybe I should. I don't know if we should put the header here. Let's check over here by the, the farmer's market and see if we got enough room. Yeah, I still think we're going to have to put the header on the side here. Turn on our beacons and our. Our flashers. It's a nice looking trailer. I said the real test will be if we can still get it in our overhang area where we had the other one parked. I don't want it to get in the way of traffic. It is very busy here for traffic. Let's try it right here. I'll just unhook it. Or we can put our tractor. Let's go over here with the tractor so it's out of the way. Shut our lights off. Alright. Get her picked up here. Just like so. See if we can knock this back in the median here. We don't need a pile up of cars because that's what happens. Okay. Yeah, that is a whoop. <laughs> that's a big working with. We'll we'll do the the headland here. I gotta actually purchase the field first. So we're up here. I, excuse me, I said it was field 10. It's not field 10. It's 13. I don't know why. I, that's why I said field 10. I was right. Never mind. It's the ownership areas confuses us. Okay, so it's going to cost us 87,000. Let's go ahead and buy that. And then we'll uh, get unfolded here. Pretty cool animation. Looks like there's some kind of a a transmitter on top there. This will be our maiden voyage here. I like how it's like not overly long, but it's still long, you know? Probably a lot easier if I uh, move my field of view back a little bit, but 
can see it coming in, our sorghum and our hopper there. This looks good. Yeah, and especially with the bigger fields like this, it's going to be a good thing we have this bigger header. I think for our straw swathing, our swath drop, so when we bale or pick up with a forge wagon, it's going to be a lot easier. We don't really have to worry about raking so much. Just before we finish up this last little bit, I'm sure there's people wondering what our our yield is on our sorghum here. I want to see how good of a job they did. It looks like kind of like the other one, only only have about a 64% yield. We're gonna have to take some uh, soil samples on this field too. I gotta remember to do that. I wanted to double check and see how good our yield was. We filled that gravity box wagon right up though, so. This uh, harvester holds quite a bit. I think what I'm going to end up having to do though in this field for... Remember our rule was to do one more planting and then we can sell it. Well, we'll do one more planting, harvest it, and then sell it of course. That way we can get exposure to all these fields. Very nice map though, I really enjoy it. Let's see if this is all going to fit on here. It's another 3,000. Yeah, good question. I don't think it's gonna fit. It's pretty full. That's kind of why I wanted to get two gravity wagons. Eh, about a 1800, and that was on a slow yield too, or a a low yield, I should say. Again, we could have used this for flour, but I think I still want to keep some for the chickens because I think we're gonna start getting hard up here for um, some chicken feed here pretty soon. And although it does look like we have a lot of money, it'll go pretty quick. I, I want to buy another rock picker. We're probably going to do that on the next episode. We're going to have to mulch and then rock pick. And I also got to get that soil sampled. But I don't want to get rid of our funds because right now we ain't going to have much coming in for a while. So yeah, if you haven't noticed... We are going to pass on that tractor that was in the sale, the case. It's tempting, but I want to save some of our funds. Very nice harvester. Yeah, I'm very happy with the purchase. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can get everything put in our storage how we want it. And the last little bit here. Don't slam into the wall. Let's see now, how much sorghum is that going to give us? 
So we got 22,000 sorghum. Yeah, there's not much barley left. That's why I want to keep the sorghum. I think on the next episode, we're going to have to get our chickens topped up. Oh, they ain't too bad, but Ooh, this one's getting eggs full. I might have to rearrange some of that. Uh, when was our ice cream going to sell to? January. Wow, these are worth some money. We got some more income. That's good. I was a little worried about that, but... Looks like we should maybe consider selling some of our maple syrup here too before we close out, because it is the best in March. And there's a little bit left. Eight grand, I mean, we might as well grab that. That would probably pay for a few things. This Deutz fits under here nicely. I mean, just barely, I should say, but... We know the 7R doesn't make it under here. Alright, let's get this header on the trailer. I'm eager to see if it's going to fit. Oh, they're going to have to wait for us. Let's get our flashers on. I'm eager to see if it's going to fit under that overhang. I kind of wish this header would snap, folks. Let's just try and see if I, if I drop it like this. Yeah, it doesn't snap on this trailer. That's kind of a bummer. I suppose it's a little more realistic. Still should fit very nicely in our existing spot here. It wasn't much wider. We went the, with the thinner tires, but it really didn't change it much. Which I think was appropriate because of the roads, but... Flashers off, machine off. I really do like this trailer though, it looks nice. I like how you can change the color on it to match your header or whatever brand you use. Alright, moment of truth here. Will it fit under our overhang without hanging out too much? I always kind of like the spot for the header trailer, but I don't know. This might be too big. It might be too big. Let's get her in here. Alright, that's what we got. Let's see what it looks like. So although it does hang out a little bit, it's not too bad. I mean, that, that hitch here will probably rust on us, but other than that, it's out of the way. All right, let's do one more thing here before we wrap up. I want to get down to our maple syrup. And we'll get those sold. We should get about eight grand worth once it's all said and done. There shouldn't be too much because I think we sold these not that long ago. Four thousand there. Yeah, it looks like this is it right here, actually. Two more. There we go, another 2400 Not bad at all. All in all, that was a great day. I'm glad we got our equipment upgraded, our harvester. We were ready to make that move. We did it. And now we can harvest a lot more efficiently, that's for sure. I'm trying to think of what else... There's any other fields that were going to be coming up. But I don't think there was any that are ready to harvest yet. Nine will get close once... Um, our corn harvest starts, which won't be until October, so we got a long time. I probably will end up buying that. And then we'll, uh... I want to do every field once. That's the goal of this playthrough. So all we got is... 11, 9, uh, 4, 13, and then our big one, 15. Should we save 15 for the last? But it does have sugar beets on it which will be ready to harvest in October. We could make some money off those sugar beets too. It, it, we could try some different equipment too with that, so it would be kind of nice to do that. And then of course, uh, it'd be nice to try this grass field out, this smaller one. And Yeah, we'll about be wrapping the episode up, and then I, I suppose we could sell the horses. Those got to get trained in yet, but yeah, we'll probably you know, be well within two years. We'll be able to sell that horse. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here in the next episode. Oh, we got another pallet. Let's just 
let's just cheat real quick here and uh, we'll get this sold, why not? There we go. <laughs> Might as well. And uh, the next episode, I think we'll go ahead and take care of 10 and get it mulched and uh, soil sampled. So thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.